Hi everyone, my name is Eldar, and today we're playing a game called Worms Wrath, an absolutely amazing entry for 2021 7DRL, which combines roguelike with a deck building game. We play as a dragonling that is just hatching out of the egg and trying to reclaim the chalice stolen by a rogue from our dungeon. Here we're at the egg, and essentially we will be throughout the game um, exploring the dungeons, eating the enemies, and as we will be unlocking um, each of these three kind of, I guess, trees, I could call them, or like, you know, paths, we will be getting more cards for our deck. Uh, our deck is kind of like, in a way, infinite, because we can redraw all the cards from the deck, but at the same time, at any given moment, we can hold a maximum of this many cards, which increases throughout our game. And we have like HP and energy, which are our two resources to spend, and that can that are kind of affected by what we eat, how we grow over here, and stuff like that. One feature I want to call out right away is the music. I absolutely love it. I think it really fits this game. It's actually original music written for just for this game, and I think the composer did a great job. Uh, the visuals are actually also new, also original, and as you see we are playing on a hexagonal grid, so the movement will be a bit weird, I usually move around with these arrows over here, and the visuals are also pretty nice. So yeah, we're an egg, and let's get out of here right away and see what we can do. That's us, this salamander-like creature, and this is our enemies. So we have three types of enemies, the icy ones, I guess, or oh, crystals, then the mushrooms, and then the slimes. They all possess a bit of different qualities, and they also have the special terrain associated with them, uh, each terrain having its own unique effect. So for example, this terrain over here is mushroomy, and it heals us when we step over it. Um, and yeah, my goal right now would be to explore the dungeons to find the staircase before I run out of energy. Let's try. I could immediately try to play this flash card. Oh, by the way, the, the cards have the cards come in two types: slow and fast ones. Fast ones means that I fast ones are the ones that I can play on the same turn without the enemies reacting. Slow ones are the ones that I cannot. Um, you want to eat the enemies usually so they don't essentially kill you but you also want to optimize for maximizing your energy, which is replenished every time you eat an enemy. Um, and yeah, in this case, I think I want to grow immediately, which increases my HP and energy, but it also increases my energy spend. And then I'll try to eat this enemy right away to replenish my energy. There we go, so now we have 76. So, yep, let's walk around this dungeon some enemies and try to find the exit. Totally. Another interesting card is Malleable, which essentially lets me, instead of these three turns, pull off a radically different turn, like here. And these are crystal enemies, and their associated terrain, um, it makes you, or maybe your enemies as well, receive double damage. It's probably for the enemies as well. So yeah, let me use these crystals too. So right now my energy is at the maximum, so I don't really want to uh, quickly eat this one. I want to spend a bit of it and then I think I'll get uh, 20 energy or something for eating it. So I'll take my time approaching this enemy. You also might notice I ran out of cards, so at any point I can stop, skip a turn and redraw my deck. Or actually potentially a portion of my deck after a certain amount of cards. How many cards you draw when you wait? If you ever have more than 10, you will randomly discard down to 10. Yes. Okay, so we corner this mushroom head so I can eat it right away and I assume my energy will go up to 90. That's right. And yeah, every time this fills up the counter, you get a new card of the corresponding type, and you have to really choose wisely what you want to have in your deck. So right now they're offering us a growth, 
which we already have in the deck and I feel like going endlessly might not be beneficial because you become longer and longer and like you have to really... <laughs> I don't know if you can eat your tail at any point, I haven't grown that long, but at least you want to manage it well so the enemies do not hit you for too long. Um, I think I want the heal because poison becomes an issue a bit later in this game. And yeah, you might notice I haven't done this before, you can actually eat through the dungeon boundaries. So if you see that you want to go from here to, for example, here, you might uh, prefer to go directly through it by eating these cells instead of going around sometimes. Which I will actually try here. Yeah, I, th I think I might have won by doing this. Ate another crystal, and I'm faced with a chain uh, with a choice of three cards again. So I could pick damage to adjacent enemies, and my size currently is. Uh, I think it's three currently, so I'll be dealing 1.5. I don't quite know how the armor works, but I think charge is really strong because quite often in this game you run out of energy and being able to close the gap from you to the enemy or just go to the nearby wall might be very strong. Very powerful. I kind of want to leave this slime for later, but I'm not sure if I'll come back here. But my energy is so high, I will actually skip eating it and go elsewhere. Yep, you guys can hit me, that doesn't matter too much. Now I'll hit you. So there, it does replenish up to 20, I think. Um, I could heal. I could heal without skipping a turn, so it's pretty good. All of these crystal enemies just like go at me and make me eat them, even though I don't want to in terms of energy, but I also don't want to die. <laughs> And let's pick here. Once again, I'm not sure about the armor. This one turn does not really make much sense to me. It's probably like a survival thing in a given situation. But so far, I have not noticed it being this kind of situation popping up a lot. Razor skin is a damage and crystallize. Turn a line of size tiles into sharp crystal terrain. I don't really think I want to create this, because usually that damages me more than the enemies, so maybe the damage is good now. But let's keep searching. The game also lets you zoom out, and because you might be running out of energy, it's usually useful to see what you might not have explored to go there quickly. And right now I have uh, 1.5, so about 50-something turns before I run out of energy and a couple of enemies trailing me, which is a good position to be in. We have a dead end here, and I don't know if I want to cross this way or backwards. So I'll try to dig. These guys keep hitting me, it's not very good. Hmm. I'm not sure what I've missed. One thing the game could have done better, I think, is scrolling. So like right now, oops, I press W just to check if it brings me up, and W is in reality just the movement button. So yeah, it would be nice if you could move the map to see uh, where you might miss an exit. I don't see anything here, so I think it was up there, the terrain I, must miss, I might have missed. Um, yeah, I might actually opt for cutting through again, but my energy is running low, so maybe not. This is the last type of terrain, the slimy one, and it makes you lose a turn when you walk over it, both for you and the enemies. And for me, it might be pretty bad right now, but I still I might still do it. I think I might still do it to let this one approach, this one go in this place, and then I'll use the razor skin to kill them both. Oh, they actually don't die, they become crystals. And then when I eat them, that's when I get the energy, I guess. Yep, that's right. So I'll try to go north. And 
and I have to really be mindful of my time now, or energy in this case, because I am running somewhat low. I need an enemy to eat, and I need it quickly. Eight point five, seven, five point five. I think I might, I should have charged actually. Now it's too late. I think we die. Yep, we got starved. Okay, I didn't play this round very well. I made very obvious mistakes, so let's try this again and do better. The worm is dead and Agrinase remains. Uh, cool, there's some mushroom hats. So let, let's try to remember the terrain. We could go east, we could go north. I will grow into this one to make sure I utilize the energy. And that's the first choice you make, right? Once you become longer, you spend more energy, even though you have more energy reserves. So maybe if you see that you have a lot of terrain to explore, but not a lot of enemies in it, you might prefer to not grow in a given moment. I don't know if it's ever beneficial in the beginning, but it's a trade-off. Paralyze, strengthen, or dazing spores. I usually eat enemies, so I don't think it matters to me how much damage I really deal. I might be wrong, and maybe other abilities really help here. But I would rather... Within 5 tiles for 3 turns, or 3 tiles for 5 turns. The effect is somewhat similar. Probably longer amount of turn is better. That. I could use Malable to go north, but there is a slime here, a slimy terrain, and I don't want to skip a turn, so I'll just go north. Um, I will not eat it, because I don't think my HP is particularly low. Because I want to maximize the energy I might be getting, but I will have to eat this one because it's in the way. Crystallize, Razor Skin. I'll try the Razor Skin. Okay, so we might be missing one exit over here. I don't think we are, I think there is nothing in here, but just good to remember. And I'll actually let this guy hit me more. It's not a big problem. Yeah, there is nothing left. Alright, then we're gonna Malleable and hit these guys up. Oh, there is something in here, absolutely. I was actually wrong. I could raise her skin, but I don't think I want to. Oh, Why, have I been here before? This is a dead end as well. Alright, well I eat you, and I wonder what is the most optimal way to kind of turn around in this case, so I could eat this, eat this and eat this, I think this way is just, mm. maybe waiting, using malleable, and then turning around this way is better, I'll try this, so I'll do the spores, so it doesn't hit me anymore, or maybe I'll just do the razor skin, now I'll do the Malleable this way. Oh wait a second, I can't. Malleable only works when you uh, can go somewhere. It doesn't work for you to just eat stuff in that direction. Never mind that. Okay, what's the easiest way to get out? Probably this way. And now it really shows that spending a bit more energy might be worse than having a bit more energy. Or having a bit less energy. Uh, we still have several turns left. Let's do a flash as well. And cool, we're now exploring the second half of this. So you see, I could use another growth. And it might be good if I see several enemies here. Uh, is one slime enough? I'm not sure, but let's try. 
Cool, so we eat the slime. We eat this one. I like that the crystal enemies go at you, so it's very easy to catch them. The mushrooms run away and shoot you, which becomes a problem. I think having flashes is good. It's just like an extra turn, essentially, for free. Definitely want this one. Oh, by the way, growing also increases your hand size, so there is a lot of trade-offs here. Just in general, I think a very well-balanced game. Even though I haven't gotten past level 3, and I think there is a 5 in total, it just feels like there is a lot of smart decisions you can make. And like, I don't think I really understood all of them in the first maybe hour playing of, of playing this game, so it feels like the more you play, the more mastery you achieve. I don't really want to walk into this and skip turns, but I guess I don't have a choice. You see, every time I walk over a green thing, or at least my head goes into a green thing, I spend twice the amount of energy, which adds up really quickly. Um, I guess flash over here and go. This doesn't look very promising. Okay, I was wrong. It does look promising. Hey! But now it does not, so I think the out the exit was really here. Now I'm scared, now I might die again at this rate. I would try to eat my way through it and hope that I find it. Which might have been the wrong move. Yeah, I think it might be extending north and I might be dead. Of starvation. If only I had charge. I was I was still died, but yeah. Cool. Well, we died again. Well, I guess it's a roguelike. Sometimes you don't get lucky. I usually do better. <laughs> okay, we come out of the egg again. We have a mushroom. I'm gonna grow right there. And start eating our dear friends. So, nothing in here. At least I know which way to go. I will kill this one because it's pretty hard to catch usually and I don't want to like chase it for the rest of my life. I really think having growth cards is not good because I don't want to grow, endless, grow endlessly. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe you are supposed to just grow very very big. But like because I already have one card, maybe having two is just too much. Because every time you withdraw you might be meeting two of them and you might not be, you might not want to use them. So heal is good. Let's malleable in here and get out. I wonder if I should double check whether there is something in here or not before leaving. There was nothing, so that was worth it. I also might be using the flashcards wrong, like maybe you want to use them when you actually need them to catch up with somebody, but I feel like I might be withdrawing soon anyway. Okay, so the slimy cards are vomit. I think healing here is a bug actually, they just mean slime terrain. And slime all enemies already there. Sliming just means slowing them down for one turn. I don't think I want. I really want this unless I have a slime walk in hand, because this will be slowing me down too. Toxicity, just poison enemies, and slime walk. Again, mobility, as we've seen, is very important because most times I died out of starvation without energy. So having this and not losing turns is probably the best thing. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just use a slime walk. Because I see a lot of green terrain in here. And start chasing our friend over here. Eat you. Oh, that's a lot of mushroom heads. Or mushrooms. I don't want to waste my energy. Maybe it's a good time to grow. Maybe I should try that. So I heal because it's fast and it's free. I draw. 
Oh, I am too. My, my hand size is too small to get the growth every single time. So I might have just wasted a turn. Oh wait, the growth is here. Never mind. So I grow and I start eating everything. Now I spend two per turn, so I only have 60 turns. That was my maximum. Let's explore this way. Nothing. One good card that I would love to have is... I think it's called Mutation or something. You essentially reverse and your head grows at the back of your tail. So you, it's, it's, it's very strong when you have it, especially when you're long. But I don't have it. Um, paralyze. I thought it was good the last time. Let's try it again. Know that I really got to use it. Too. Okay, that's good. I will eat this one first, just so it stops harassing me. Um, I kind of want to find a malleable, not to have to go around, but maybe that will cost me more. So let's go this way. This way and exploring that part over there. I'll just see this room. So we have a essentially throw away a card, get a random card, or we have some damaging thing. Damage. In a forward direction, not sure for what amount of tiles. I think redrawing is really good, or like at least might be good, so I'll take it. Kind of a waste of energy here. Not yet, not much I can do about it. Health is quite high, so I think I can afford not to eat them just yet and explore further. Okay, my health is not that high anymore because I'm walking over these blue tiles. But I can take it. Yeah, I take damage from crystals all the time. I think it depends on where they hit me, whether that tile is in a crystal. Feel in danger, so I can just keep healing. I'll use I'll use the elegance. So, oh wait a second, I might have misread it. I thought I would just get a new card instead of replace the card. Never mind that. I was hoping to get a flash, but instead I just threw something away. I will use the heal. And uh, this looks more promising than this. Of space. Well, that was wrong actually. And open your mind seems good. Another growth or a heal. I don't need to do either right now. But Malibu is good. I might not need to heal because I'll be walking over the mushrooms. There is five enemies attacking me, so I, I'd rather be safe. I eat you. I eat you too. I think unlike the slime terrain, which is all about your head, the mushroom terrain actually heals you for every part of your body on it. So it's cool when you're like long and you just walk all over it. I don't know if it's worth it to chase this one, but I'll try it anyway. That level would be nice here, I don't have it. I 
and the more it escapes me, the better, because I have have it as an energy resource that I would not have otherwise if I already ate it. It's a slime, and look further. Whoa, oh, that's nothing. Kind of look different to me. Okay, so this is a dead end. This is one pass we haven't explored, this is the other pass we haven't explored. Should I just leave him be, because there is a lot of mushrooms? I think I should. So I'll try to... It like damages me for less than I actually heal, so I'll leave him with a food source, which is trailing me of its own accord. And my energy is disappearing pretty fast here. Kind of alarming. This kind of looks like a dead end. But since I'm already here, I have to check. Nope, it's not a dead end. Once again. My energy is running low, it's scary. I think I'm gonna die this way once again. I withdraw, I use Malibu to go back, and I'm going to eat this. Oh no, there was an enemy that way. I realized it too, too late. I'm going to lose a random card, that's how it works. Okay, so Breath of Life is kind of good sometimes. Just to be able to heal. The other cards are not much better. I also wonder, like, because I'll be getting more of mushroom cards, which are all about healing, maybe I should just prefer to not eat mushrooms and eat the crystal enemies to get more mobility cards. Might be a reasonable thing to do. Open your mind is great. I don't want to grow anymore. Finally replenish all of our energy here, I think. That might not have been a good move, now they have somewhere to go. Um, what I really want is to get the Malleable card to go into this one. I did not get it, but I got it open your mind. There we go. One, two... I see a staircase, so we'll finally escape this level. And uh, so because the energy doesn't replenish on the next level, I want to eat as many of them as possible before leaving. Eat you. I don't know if all poison is much better than one poison. It really depends on the amount of slimes. You will see these poisonous slimes I'll be fighting. But heal also gives me some HP. And I'm pretty long, so maybe heal once again. Once again, want a malleable card, so I kind of want to go north. Uh, flesh doesn't do it. But okay. And eat whatever you can. Um, yeah, I think I have to redraw. Here we have a flash, so we eat this one, and I can probably just go. Okay, so prepare to lose this amazing theme because every level seems to have its own tune, and meet the new level. Cool, so we're now at the frontier. You enter the frontier, beware the Rock King's scouts. Uh, I might enable a slime walk right away, not to be losing turns over here. To explore it that way. There is something. Okay, so these are the Rock King's scouts, I think. And they shoot from afar. Okay. crystals which is really good so flash is always good I don't like crystallize at all to be honest and I don't think I need much more damage this 
This might actually be good against poisonous enemies, so maybe it's worth it. I'll take a flash. I think mobility is key. Um, flash is good. These two I don't care about, so I'll do the flash. I oh, actually have to move first, maybe not. Then. Like, I'm considering doing elegance, and I don't want to lose the flash card, but okay. Nope, I did not get lucky. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm gonna withdraw. What I wanted was malleable just to get out of here. So I'm gonna open my mind. I'm going to use malleable. And then I'm going to flash so I can eat this guy. And I'm gonna continue a bit of HP. Just to remember. This is likely a dead end, I hope, but this is likely not, so there is some path to go. I really like the work that the composer did on the music. This tune is a bit more, maybe even Crimson Kingish, in a way. The first tune was very... Honestly, 80s music style, I, 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 I love it very much. Uh, slime walk seems like a good option here, just to catch up with this enemy. Oh no, so these are the trained slimes, and when they poison, poison you, until you heal, the poison actually keeps damaging you for one, and that is very dangerous. Right, they don't even seem to increase my slime count, that is just disgusting. Oh my god, another one. <laughs> what do I do? So if I don't eat it, it's going to poison me. If I eat it, this guy might produce even more. So what do I do? I can probably deal with one poison. Let's do elegance first. Hmm. Do I want to grow into this one? Maybe I do. Right now I'm spending 2. I'm going to be spending 2.5. Let's try it. Poison is just enemies, toxicity. I think mobility is just too important, so I'm going to take it. And I am poisoned, right? Train slime attacks for one damage. Hmm. I am not poisoned. And I'm sure, not sure if it's a bug, if it's like a misunderstanding, or whether maybe the slime walk protects me from the poison. But anyway, I took Malleable so I can walk into this thing and avoid any further damage. Oh, I can eat you as well. Uh, I don't really want the Breath of Life that much. Malleable is good. I'm in any situation, I see another slime. Train slime. Yeah, it doesn't increase my count at all. These slimes are very overpowered. Yes, I'll have to walk into here, so you will see me lose 5 energy instead of 2.5 right now. Yep, just as I expected. And I see a crystal enemy, which makes me happy. Uh oh. So yeah, this is a dead end. And we want to explore these areas, this area, and possibly that. So, how do I get out of here quickest? Honestly, I'm already afraid that I might be dead with the energy consumption. I only have. Um, what is it? 40, 50, less than 50 turns, and eating through this will take me 50 or something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a faster way, so let's try it. This way, eat, eat, eat. Oh, there is an enemy. Worst case, I could try to turn around and eat him, though I might be spending just as much energy as I'm just walking away from it. Um, 
this is just one turn, so it's not that bad. That was assuming that I'm going this way. Maybe I wanted to go this way. No, I won't anymore. Anyway. Oh, there is another enemy. Good. So I might actually turn around here somewhere. Okay. So I'll try to turn around and hit Okay, I ate the Mad Crystal Man. To eat him, I need a flash. So I guess I was holding this for no good reason. I'm gonna withdraw. Let's open my mind. Oh wait, this was a waste. I didn't realize I would not get two hearts, I would only get one. So that was a waste. Um, now out of this tree, I'll probably take a heal. And I want to get back out. is really low. It's really scary. And this was a really bad direction to go in. I think we're dead again. Um, what can I do? Elegance, flash, and this is it. We are dead. Okay, let's try this one more time and hopefully I'll do better. But yeah, I'm not sure about the balance between um, growing to increase the maximum energy and, you know, not growing to conserve more energy. I'll go right into this guy. And we'll be wasting a lot of turns walking here. Wait, did someone shoot me from there just now? Kind of lose that way. Flash, eat. These things usually means there is an enemy of this type sitting in there. I want the heal because I'm actually very low on HP and I'm not realizing it. And I start walking over the thing. I will catch him because actually I might not. I might escape this way. Okay, he, he still got me. He still allowed me to eat him, which is good. Um, I'm gonna malleable this way because I'll, otherwise I'll have to go around through the slime. And these guys might actually kill me at this rate. Okay, slime bitten. Gain a random new card to your hand. How random is that, I wonder? I'll take a slime walk. This is more likely to have an exit than this, so I won't bother. And I might want to kill these guys before they kill me. One, two... I will actually take this guy to heal me very soon. And I will eat this guy over here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Because I lost my slime walk, he will escape and he will keep shooting me, so I don't want that. But now... Nine... Eight... Yeah, I'm still okay. Oh, these are both dead ends. Never mind. This is a bad way to chase him. Maybe I should redraw. Rose, flash. None of 
these are great, but maybe it's time for more growth. pretty solid aside from this spot so maybe there was something north that I forgot to check um, I see two slimes so I think it might be better to withdraw so I heal for free in terms of time and I withdraw for the slime walks there we go oh no there is a spot here okay yeah there was a there was an area north we didn't explore, so let's go that way. I one thing I want to call out that I really like this balance of like the levels are generated in a way that sometimes eating through walls is beneficial, so sometimes sometimes it's not. It really feels like I have to make a lot of decisions and trade-offs when you're playing this game. So it's hard to be good. Quite often I'm chasing these mushrooms that are running away from me, so maybe javelin is good. Now let's test it out actually. A crystal that hits all enemies. Oh wow, that actually goes pretty far. Might be strong. And I really don't like that we don't have a lot of energy here, so I hope to see more enemies before we get to the next level. Or really any enemies at all. Another slime walk. other and now we can slime walk not to lose any turns uh, this is actually the exit so our energy is low we have to hope we actually surround it once we get there um, yeah I don't want to use any of this cool we're at the frontier and we still have three turns of slime walk one two These camps are just visual camps, but you can actually eat them. I will not waste a turn unless I want to go in there, but I might show it to you very soon. Yeah, I think I can afford it, right? So there. <laughs> we start eating everything. It's pretty funny. Um... This one's stuck, so I eat him. Might be good to just redraw and get the other slime walk in here, but I don't want to risk it. I see a mushroom, I see a slime. Just to make sure there was nothing there to explore, right? So it's either this way or this way. Turn around and follow this path. 
I'm getting kind of scared about the amount of paths I haven't explored here. And I see train slimes, dangerous enemies, but I have the heal, so maybe it's fine. Poisoned one. Oh, I see a staircase actually. Ooh, shape shifting, that's the one. So that's the longer you are, the more useful it probably becomes. So I, I kinda want it, yeah. And it's time to heal now that I ate all of the poisonous things. We are not under that effect anymore. I think with this amount of energy, this might be a good time to just go. One, two. Let's make sure to heal all the way and let's go to the next level. So yeah, prepare for a new, very cool tune and for a new level of, of villagers. Okay, so there's slime. There are some other enemies. I wonder if I should grow even more because I hope to see more enemies or on the opposite, you know? So like how are the levels balanced is not very clear how to make this decision whether you want to grow further. I wonder whether the authors want you to at the end be a worm like 15 uh, cells in size or not. And probably not based on the amount of enemies I've been meeting so far. So should I grow? All right, let's try. <laughs> it's a whole camp. These are actually penetrable, so it might be that I need to go that way. But I'm not sure how to return quickly. Especially with this guy shooting me. I don't want to malleable that way, it will shoot me too much. One very strong card I have not really obtained, or wasn't really offered, is a charge. That would just... I think we've seen it before. It, it could take me to this enemy, maybe this enemy wouldn't heal all the way to that enemy. So it would be like a very fast way to tra traverse the corridors, but we don't have it. Javelin might be good to just shoot these guys down. I'll take the flash instead. Second flash, always welcome. Yeah, I think these guys just run away, they don't really do much. Let's see if they give me energy or anything else. 0, 3, 1 and 1, 26. 0, 3, 1. So they give you energy, but they don't give you a card. Oh my god, that's a lot of slimes. Poison 1. My health is not very high. I technically can heal up. It actually does not counteract enough. That's really bad. I'm gonna malleable into this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die here. Unless I get lucky and find the fourth level quickly. I might want to flash into this so I eat this and it doesn't poison me. Oh, so poison three meters, three things attacked me at the same time. This is really scary. Um, oh, there's a staircase. But I will still be poisoned, so I might just die when I exit. I'll try my luck. So I'm escaping here. I am poisoned for one. And this is the first time I've seen this level with more epic music. Now Javelin looks like a good idea because I pierced through these two at least. Nice. And I think I have to redraw. Still poisoned. Here I heal finally.
don't know if growing is good, seeing these peasants. Or should I be afraid of wasting energy again? Because I don't know how big this level is. Flash, growth. I will not grow just yet because I might not reach them because they'll start they'll keep running away. So let's get a bit deeper. Do I wanna eat this one? Oh wow, a new type of enemy. definitely want to eat this because it might deal a lot of damage and I am very low on health. In fact, how do I get my health? Probably Breath of Life. Eight HP. Open your mind. I have two flashes. I would much rather have a malleable to go here, but I have some stuff. So I could flash, eat this guy, and then continue. Probably that's what I'll do. I'll leave the slime alone for now. Healing up. Oh, another new enemy. I'll think, I think I'll wild thing and flash over here so I don't let him damage me. Or maybe I should, just to see how much he deals. Crystal Bow Scout is now poisoned. Shroom Chemist strengthens the Scout. Which one is the Scout then? I don't think it's this one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah. So these are Shroom Chemists. Interesting. Oh my god, he deals four. That's scary. Let's make sure to eat him and the Chemist will succumb to us. Easily. I might want to redraw. I don't see anything I really like here. I can certainly click on this in case I see any slimes, but after that. That's malleable in here. Let's open our minds. I want to heal, you know. I don't have to heal just yet, so I'll wait if there are any slimes that will poison me. I don't know. You will be flashed into. Now I wonder if I want to eat these places to, up to get through, or they're kind of meant to be um, blockers. I think I might be able to get through here, so I have to return. That would be nice to reverse, but I don't have the shape shifting anymore. Ooh, a lot of peasants, nice. Maybe I should grow them just to utilize the energy that they bring. No, oh, nice. Okay, so this guy is gonna be shooting me for a lot. Strength as a scout. Well, I don't want him to damage me too much. Javelin, nice. Kind of waste of energy, but not much I can do. Oh, charge. Charge is good. Especially if there are long corridors, charge is very good. So I'm gonna take that. More people to eat. Beautiful. Um, I do have a lot of energy there. So I think these places then I want to leave for when I have a low energy and then just attack them and eat them. Wait, did I leave this guy alone? Damn. Might be this way or this way. Let's start here then. Thanks for waiting for me. Oh, nice. Okay, who is this one? 
slime engineer slows, slows a slime bomb. Oh my god, I don't know what it does. We just flash over it. Fire consumes a slime bomb. I didn't notice if anything happened. Wait, my energy is actually above my maximum energy? I don't know if it's a bug or it's a feature. Okay, slime engineer attacks for two. There is also a crystal legion legionnaire. Legionnaire? A legionnaire maybe? I don't want this guy to run free, so I'll hit him. And I'm afraid I will learn what the bomb does soon enough. Okay, so I'm poisoned for one. Another creature is covering the area in slime. Well, that is not a problem. I actually don't need to use this because I'll be going over, but yeah, it would not be a problem for me. I might want to use the heal right away though. I didn't notice the bomb, but I'm poisoned again. Probably shape shifting is the best. I don't really need to poison enemies. I don't really want to do this either. Let's do shape shifting. And I don't really want this guy to hit me for however much he's going to hit me. But I don't have much choice. For three and the poison. Never mind that. Um, I'm gonna shape shift twice just for fun because I'm planning to redraw and they are fast. So there, we ended up at the beginning, we ended up at the end. Let's use the slime walk and let's. Well, actually, maybe charging is good because they cover this much space. Let's try that. Ah, uh, but then on the other hand, I'll be facing in a bad direction, so never mind. I don't see a heal. That is bad. Breath of life. Maybe flash. And now we can open our mind. No heal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will have 7 after this. Again, no heal. I don't really know what I want to do aside from healing. So I probably want to eat these guys to get another card which might be a healing card. Crystal Legionnaire is damaging me. This is a good place to have that thing that damages nearby enemies, but I don't have it, so I'll just flash. Antidote. Eh, antidote is good. I'll use that instead. If he damages me for 3, it's not very good for me to have my body over here, but what can I do about it? Aside from charging forward. I also don't want to charge because it's only one extra move. Until you make, until you make your ritual. Um, reversing is not good either. I should have planned for this. Maybe I can just malleable into this guy. And then I could do something. Let's try that. That's not good. I'm dying pretty quickly here. Now if I shape shift my head is still in a bad position. I go this way, I'm at 11. Wait, for 6 damage? I think somebody empowered him to deal double damage. I don't see where it says that, but that's what seems to have happened. So if I turn here, I'm at 8. I turn here, I'm at 6, then I heal one, and then I hit him. Maybe it's okay? No, he deals 3 again, so it's not too bad. Oh, 
was scary. I want you. If I shape shift, my head is here, as I can walk into here again. Let's try that. There we go. So my energy is actually at the maximum. That is not a problem. I really want to heal. Maybe I should just keep circling here, like keep growing or something. Maybe I even should grow to increase my HP, considering there is a lot of peasants. I think that's the way. So we grow. And uh, maybe I redraw. Let's use the fast card. Redraw. I will leave the healing for potential poison. I want to grow more. I surely hope I'm moving in the right direction because if I'm not, I will never get out. I could charge if I want, but I don't want to. Oh my. It's very hard to decide if this is the right way to go, but I guess I don't have a choice. I can charge into this thing, honestly. This is tough. I probably have to do this, so I'll, I'll go a bit forward. Oh, there is stuff to eat. Okay. So, they say he poisoned me, but I don't see it. One of them has double attack. I don't have any flashcards. I still don't have any flashcards. Should I grow more? I think I should grow more. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so long. Okay, so they both deal 3 damage. I have a lot of HP. I could heal, but I don't need to. I think I'll eat this. Flash is good. And I will just kill these things off with a javelin. Nice. Unfortunately, this guy might keep hitting me, so I should find a way to escape. And that's the problem with being long, you know? All of the enemies can hit you endlessly. Malleable over here to eat him up before returning there? Probably should. Oh, wait a second. I actually see a staircase. Um, I have endless amount of energy here. Like, the peasant over here, the peasant over here. So I think I should re replenish my HP and go further. Which I think should be the final level. Let's heal for 16. Open your mind. I have a lot of flesh, so I'm going to shape shift. I'm going to create a breath of life, and I'm going to eat these guys. And I'm going to return and walk this path again as I'm going to exit. I think it's a good move. I think it's a good play. All right, now we can see if we can eat our tail. I guess not, because we are exactly here. Okay, I see more guys to eat. Flash. Oh no, that doesn't work. There we go, flash. Eat. And yeah, we have maximum HP, we have maximum energy. But it's close to it, I think it's time to go to the next level. Right after we redraw, maybe. So let's do slime walk, redraw, flash, flash, two cards. Oh, I didn't realize that would happen, but whatever. Oh, wait a second. I actually have more cards here. I didn't notice, but I thought there would be a card over here. Okay, so we are holding open your mind, heal, three flashes. We can reverse when we want, twice, and breath of life, 
Yeah, I would like to have a javelin maybe. Or a um, charge. But sure. I will work with what I have. Okay, I have an exit. Who are these guys? Let's see for how much they hit. They hit strong, but not too bad. How do I make sure they don't kill me? Maybe by creating a breath of life ahead? Then I should have probably been moving ahead. Let's open our mind. Malleable is good, so I can return to that path. So if I go up, then I can go malleable. Hey, maybe growth is good actually. Then malleable backwards. Oh, I, I should really be on this path. I should not be... Yeah, I, I'm doing the wrong thing here. So, flash maybe. Okay, I really hope I'm not messing, messing this up. But I have a heal, so I feel a bit good about this. Maybe I'll use up my flashes quickly. Shape shift. So I can have my head over here, heal, I'll heal right away, it doesn't hurt. And now I'm going to reverse so I can start hitting them again. Or like shape shift in this case. Now I could shape shift again, but it won't help. Shape shift, eat. Shift, no. They're still hitting more than I'm healing, which is scary. Shape shift. Um, no. Now I could shape shift and eat a couple, so I think I'll do that. Time to redraw. Malleable, time to this guy. Okay. I still haven't checked if I can eat my tail. I think it might have been just blocked. Yeah, that might have been the case. Let's open our minds. Oh no. Have I done this again? Actually, I think it should have first discarded the cart and then gotten two. But it's okay. I am healed up, I guess, through this thing. Okay, I actually should not have eaten the last enemy either, and saved it for energy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I have a shape shifting, a slime walk, which is pretty useless, open your mind, a flash, a javelin, and a charge. I think I'm safe. I don't know what the final boss is, but I feel pretty safe here. Because I'm going to heal up a lot. That seems like a slime bomb. Yeah. Oh, this looks like the king. The chalice must be somewhere here. I feel pretty safe, so let's hope I don't die. Uh, I'm gonna flash over here. Oh no, wait. I think javelin is great. Hmm. There's a bomb over here, though. I think a flash over this, and then a javelin in this direction is what I want. Okay, I killed the king, yeah! That's a nice sprite right there. Um, poison 1 does not bother me that much. Two antidotes just yet. Maybe I should grow more because I see a lot of enemies. And I need more HP or maybe not, maybe energy. I don't know. It's hard to say. More slime bombs. Open our mind. We can open our mind again. Heal Breath of Life is actually pretty good here, I think. So we'll be healing even more in spite of the poison. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I can just walk over there and get the chalice. Let's see. Oof. Poison 4. Yeah, maybe it's time for the antidote. 
Should I go even further? 4.5. More HP though. Yeah, whatever. Mm. I feel like I ate the king, unless it wasn't the king. I'm not sure. I thought if I eat the king, it's over. And this looked like a king, and I think I ate him. So now I'm kind of like confused, to be honest. Oh, wait a second. Was I wasting my time walking over the slimes the whole time? I hope not. 92, 81. Um, I'm not sure what's better in this case. Maybe flash, because the room doesn't look very big. Oh no, this creates a terrain that doesn't heal me anymore. This is very dangerous, actually. I'll just charge north. Oh my god, I'm too long. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not sure. I should have eaten the king, to be honest. By now. 10 damage from poisons. This is terrible. Maybe I should shapeshift and try to eat them up. So long. I can double flash. Flash, flash, I need this. Ooh, I think I will die. Even though I'm pretty sure I ate the king by now. Sure, healing doesn't hurt, and let's redraw. Reading is the antidote, poison 13 is ridiculous. I can charge into this guy. I could javelin as well. My slime walk is expiring four turns, so I first I flash and I eat him, right? One. Very scary. 14 poison. I'm going to heal. Draw two cards. I see a growth. Growing might be good because I'll get more HP and my energy seems to be very high. I have 60 turns right now. And there's still some enemies to consume and I have charge cards. Yep, let's grow them. So I flash, I grow into this guy and I'm poisoned for 15. I need to kill this too. I could charge here. I don't have a malleable to use this one. Oh, I, I do have a malleable. Maybe it's fine. So I charge. Slime will expire soon. 14 damage from poison. That's really bad. Javelin slow. But I can't kill the important ones. Alright, let's malleable into here. Have 40 HP. Um, I could shape shift. Actually, I can just slime walk. If I shape shift and I flash, my tail is still over here, so I do get damaged by these things. I could shape shift, flash. Nope, it still doesn't do anything. Um, and maybe it's just I just need to redraw. I have 24 HP. That's really terrible. Okay, antidote. We found it. Nice. Rest of life, javelin, shape shift. I could shape shift and charge if I have a charge. I do not have a charge. I don't have a malleable either. 
I do have a lot of flashes though. Flash, flash, flash. I will flash this way. Then I'm going to open my mind. I found a malleable, which is good. I can turn this way. Javelin into this, charge. Oh, never mind, I don't have a charge. I probably javelin. Well, poison, but very briefly. Eighteen HP. Only two poisons, though. I don't think it's worth it to hurry here. Sixteen HP. I'll try mutation just to see if it gives me some useful card. Not so useful in this case. Flash. And I'm going to eat this one. Shape shifting, slime walk. I mean, honestly, now that there are no bombs, I could just breast of life. So let's see. Flash this way. I breath of life in that direction. And now I can just keep walking over here and healing, right? Let's heal. I'll beat you. Oh, I don't even really know. I'm just healing. And I assume that when I kill this one, the game is over. But I'm not 100% sure. Wait, am I still poisoned? Wait, why, why do I get poisoned? I don't understand. I'm not poisoned anymore, never mind. Oh, wait, this terrain might be actually poisoning. Suffers one poison damage. Okay, I'm not sure why. But, you know, this guy died, and the game did not end. I think that terrain is damaging. Okay, so I killed everyone. Do I need to get out of here? Hmm. I'm confused. I don't see anything at all in here, unless I have to eat one of these columns. So I'm wondering if I should try to make my way out and maybe that's how the game ends. Or could it be that I should have eaten the king instead of shooting him or something? And maybe it's a bit of a bug, afraid to suggest. These don't look like something that I have to eat. Nothing in here either. Alright, I'll just get it going. <laughs> I'll try to walk over my tail and see what happens. Oh, no, it says no. Uh, now I'll try the charge. Okay, there we go. Nope, I did not escape. <laughs> okay, let's shape shift backwards. Supposed to destroy all of them. I don't think the game said anything about that. Well, I destroyed them. Here, I'll, I'll even encircle the throne. Nothing's happening. I oh, know, I'm so sad now. Let's try to quickly check the game page. Explore each level to find the stairs, reach the palace on level 5, retrieve the chalice by eating the king or killing him, then eating the chalice. 
I am pretty sure I did that, guys. And I don't think it worked. Well, we're gonna pretend that we won because you know the king was definitely dead and I definitely ate his corpse. So this major note of us encircling whatever used to be the throne but now being poisoned all around, we are going to end our play throne. Um, I mean this seemingly a bug is pretty sad. I thought that the game was actually amazing. I love a lot of things about this game. I love the music, I love the art direction, I think the game is actually very deep. And like for a 7 era, it provides an amazing amount of um, balance. Like you know, the things that you have to learn to be able to do well. And it's just like a, a lot of interesting content to interact with. So I really like this game. I, I hope I did not do something stupid here. Maybe it's, uh, probably it's just a bug and it will be fixed. But yeah, this maybe major, maybe minor notes, I want to say bye, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.